Move ten. Mm. Right. Hey there. It's uh, Brandon and Alex here. And Alex is reading the Argos catalog for some week. It's, it's, it's moving. That, that is all. It's moving. Right. That's good. Right. Um, we're here today to review a film that both of us enjoy very much. And uh, what what film is it, Alex, that we're going to be doing today? Soccer Punch! Yeah, right, so, uh, let's get started. Um, we saw it uh, some time ago. It's good. Yeah, we saw it some time ago at the cinema, and um, we weren't too sure about it at first. We were thinking, um, will, the, will this be a type of film we enjoy? I mean, I can't remember what was out at the time, but it was kind of rivaled with um, another film. Um, but we saw it anyway, and the tagline is right. You will be unprepared if you if you ever watch it. It's just so mental and crazy in the best way possible. Uh, what do you think of it? Well, for the most part, I was sat there in my little cinema chair with my little drink on one side. I can't, can't quite remember what I had. I'll have to look into that. And nothing on this side except a strange person's hand. And it might have been mine, you know. It might have been, yeah. No, I think you were on this side. I'm drifting. That's right. And, yeah, the first part of it is... The first part of the film is quite graphic and, like, deep and meaningful for a 12A. A bit difficult so, to grasp as well at first. Yeah. You're like, what's going on? You don't quite get it. And, yeah, but I did really, really enjoy it. It's a very, very good film. So, yeah, um, like I said, at the start of it, a bit of a spoiler alert here. Um, they she is taken to an asylum, um, and it's it's sort of got, the hell was that? Okay, calf calf fun in summertime. Amelia is headed for the tropics to enjoy a vacation. To so open the best beachfront cafe in an island paradise has to do, and she needs your help. Drifting. But she needs your help. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so um, the she goes to take it to the asylum, and it's it's kind of at that point you're thinking, what's what's going on here? Like, uh, am I missing something? Because yeah. I, I don't know about you, but I was thinking at that point, I really don't think we're going to enjoy this because I have no idea what's going on. It's like yeah, half that, hour. At that movie. point, it, it's a part of the film that's done quite well because you think you just think to yourself, right, I know exactly where this film is going. Yeah. I know what what's going to happen, and then. That so that is exactly what happened. With it, with that, and then um, and then the major action focus happens, which is it goes into her imagination when she's uh, dancing, and we were, we like looked at each other, and I remember it very well, and we just thought, what the hell is going on here? This is so awesome. You get samurais with rocket launchers and miniguns, um, blowing up temples. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's it's something it's really something to go um to go out and watch. It's something to watch with like your friends or something. Uh, if you're into like action like fancy style thing. Um, annoyingly though, um, most review sites didn't give it the best review. I think I just looked at one now and it gave it like twenty six percent. And like it it's, it really doesn't deserve twenty six percent. It deserves way higher than that. I think the reason for this, I'm just going to clarify this so that we don't give like a completely biased review. Yeah. The story does have plot holes. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm going to give another major spoiler here. In one of the dream sequences, they are trying to get a kitchen knife, and so the main character, Emily Browning, that one, Emily Browning, baby doll, she dances and goes into her imagination, and they have to defuse a bomb. Codename Kitchen Knife. Yeah, that's a bit. Oh, which I'd imagine, I think they might have been running out of ideas at that point. But the point still stands, that, and you'll agree. Sucker Punch isn't about the story. That's it's about yeah. blowing shit up <laughs> and killing people and crazy dancing and girls and women mm. and death. Girls. <coughs> girls with guns. Yeah, girls with guns. Man. Yeah. And it's got huge I robots, which you know, it's seen already. Uh, that's a bit. It's a, it's a, it's a robot bunny type thing with machine guns and bazookas and all that and it's all very 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 fun yep it is it truly is it truly, it truly. 
Right, so, um, so we've covered everything. Like our opinions of it is, it's it's ri it's. What would you give it out of ten? Out of ten, I would definitely give it an eight or a seven. Seven at lowest because of the story, but eight if you just focus on the action aspect of it and the fact that it just kicks ass. Maybe a next one, Ruby. Um, Indeed. I'd give it probably, like, like Alex said, maybe seven and a half for the for the story. Um, if if you're going into it and you don't get it, you you might be a bit disappointed if you don't grasp. You need because, you need to be open minded. You can't yeah, just definitely. think, well, that doesn't make sense. I'm going to write this off because it just it, it, the film just will not work if you do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'd give it. All in all, taking it because I, I grasped it in the end. Um, Eight point nine, I'd say. It's a good spell. It's a good spell. It, it is indeed gold stars and all. Um, for some fact, because it it is one we've been talking about for for many many weeks and years yeah. to come. One think. thing we haven't noticed: the yeah. soundtrack kicks more ass than Emily <sighs> Browning does. Yeah. Honestly, the soundtrack is. Well, amazing. Well, considering she's in half the soundtrack, she is yeah, the one. She, is. she she does sing the opening song, which still gives us goosebumps to this day because it's just such a good song that fits the opening sequence so well. And Emily Browning sings it, which makes it all that more personal, yeah. all that more deep. All right, so I think that pretty much sums yeah, everything nice does. things up. It does. All right, um, if you've got any requests for a film review or anything, um, we also uh, probably review games or I don't know anything like that. Um, yeah, drop us a message. Or as Stephen Larson would say, hit <laughs> us up on the Facebooks at facebook.com. Friendo. Um, yeah. Um, awesome. Right. Um, I I've been Brandon for and the most I part. I have been Alex. Good times. All the best. <laughs>